Well, this is Denise Nicola, and today my topic is, ta-da, it must be in the water. What could be in the water that causes skeletal fractures, cancer, uh, damages your pineal gland, causes fluoridosis, causes um, so many different problems, kidney issues. What could it be? Fluoride. You know, this was introduced into the water supply in t in 1930s. And they say it's a residue left over from when people used to make, when they used to make bombs. And they didn't know where else to put it. So guess where they put it? In your water. And they we are told that it's to help our teeth to stay in our mouth and to make our teeth stronger. But what if that was not true? What if when they actually did the studies, 90 or more percent of the people lost their teeth? What if when you drink fluoride, it causes your pineal gland to go to calcify? What if it drops your IQ 20 points? These are all things that people have said are side effects off fluoride now listen to this you know on your your toothpaste when it says if a baby ingests just a pea-sized amount of it take him to the doctor right away it's toxic that pea-sized amount is what's in an eight ounce glass of tap water in a system in a community that has fluoride in the water can you believe that so you are not, if babies can't drink it, why should you have it? In fact, in most babies' waters, they use distilled water to make babies' formulas because the fluoride in the water could be bad for the baby. Now you are the baby. You are the most important thing out there. You're the most important person out there. So why would you want to have fluoride? How do you get fluoride in your body? Well, fluoride, you get it in your body by drinking it. And 40% of the fluoride that gets into the body comes through from your skin. So when you take showers, it's in there. All right. You also cook with it. So every day you're using it. And what happens is it causes your body to degenerate. They say it even causes skeletal issues. And when I think of skeletal issues, I'm thinking of arthritis right? The when, when was it put in the water? It was put in the water in the 1930s and about 67%, according to the CDC, about 67% of the United States water supply has fluoride in it. What, what is it? It's a chemical, an after effect from bombs, in fact, they say when the workers used to work in the factories that worked with fluoride, most of them lost their teeth. In addition to that, most of them lost the metal in their shoes disintegrated. That's how bad it was. And there, if you look on YouTube, you'll find uh, people who went to Congress to ask them to take it out of the water. And one of the side effects is couch potato syndrome. And that's why some of us may have our lazy boys. Because you go to work, you come home, you feel like you don't want to do anything else. That is said to be a side effect of fluoride in the water. All right? how What can you do to limit the fluoride in your water? All right. One of the things you can do is buy distilled water. Or you can buy a distiller or a not a distiller so much as a filter that filters out fluoride out of the shower head, out of all the water in your home. And of course, like I said, buy distilled water. Another thing too that you could do is avoid fluoride toothpaste. I use Tom's. Oftentimes I'll make my own toothpaste and that seems to work well. My dentists are really, pr they're proud of my teeth of what's going on with my gums because they say it even caught fluoride even causes problems with your gums major bleeding in the gums okay um that's another thing in addition to that 
you want to also just do your own research. Don't just take my word for it. Do your research. If you watch the movie um, Us from Keenan Peel, in the beginning, he said, fluoride is a neurotoxin. Why is it being put in your water? You want to ask yourself that. Why? Are we being purposely dumbed down? In addition to that, when fluoride calcifies the pineal gland, it helps, it affects your consciousness. It affects your ability to really be awake and aware. So your pineal gland, it is what people call your third eye. It's right there. And when it's activated, it secretes serotonin, which is like a milky substance that helps you with your ability to function and melatonin. It helps with serotonin and melatonin. So it helps with your sleep and waking cycles. It helps with your mood. It also is a real eye that you see through. And if you look through all ancient Egyptian artifacts, even in Asia and all over the world, you see images of the third eye. And that's where the seat of consciousness is. So why is that being calcified? What is the reason for that? Who wants us dumber? Below, I'll have some articles that you can read. I'll have some people who are doing documentaries and videos about the effects of fluoride. And you do the research for yourself. Maybe I'm just crazy. Or maybe there's more going on than meets the eye. You know, it's time to wake up. We can no longer be the walking dead. If you like this recording, like, subscribe, and share. I look forward to serving you with the next video. The next video will be about foods that make you sick, that cause autoimmune illnesses, and they, they manifest in different ways. All right? So the next video will be uploaded next week. See you soon.